<laughs> hey everypony, my name is Rainbow Dash, and I am here bringing the Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb once again. In this episode, I'm going to be running as Maggie, the new character that we unlocked last run, I want to say, because we got an ass ton of hearts because of that lucky run, surprisingly. And hopefully I can get just as lucky this round. As you can see, Maggie starts off with one more heart than Isaac, but the downside is she is slower, like she's slower in movement. So she's good as a defensive, but not very fast, which I don't truly mind, in all honesty, considering speed isn't a major factor in this game, but then again, I say that I'm pretty sure I'm going to get another speed down. Alright, right here is Wrath. He is a fairly simple, well, I say simple and I just got hit, but he is a fairly simple mini boss. Uh, what you have to do is just avoid the bombs that he pushes. Yeah, as you can see, he kind of kicks them towards you. Those black rocks that are right there are indestructible. Oh yeah, as you can see, I can also push back the bomb, but it never happens to hit him. Or whenever it does hit him, it does no damage, so there's no true point in that other than to defend yourself. So yeah, and this will be it. Yep, he's dead. And he just drops bombs. I have never seen him drop anything else but bombs, so... He usually won't give us anything of true importance. Now, as you can see, ooh, beggar boy. I have one coin. Hopefully he gives me something. Come on, I give you all my money. Hey, cheesecake. But anyways, like I was saying, so he doesn't ever drop anything of true. Wait, no, I wasn't saying that. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just kind of lost track. But as you can tell, Maggie starts off with a space bar item. That space bar item is known as the Yum Heart, another item that we also unlocked last playthrough. Considering that I am about to bomb well, almost halfway, let's demonstrate it. See, it fills me up a whole heart. Now it recharges kind of slowly, so that's not good, but in all honesty, it's actually a really decent item considering last playthrough I was hurt for heart, so I had to use Guppy's Ball. And hopefully I can get better items. Oh my Celestia. Oh, thank you. There is a Celestia out there. This is by far the game maker right here. This will. She looks like a spider right now, but this, this item has helped me through so many runs. It's crazy. Alright, we're going against one of the horsemen. Whenever you beat Mom, it unlocks the four horsemen of the apocalypse. They're always supposed to drop one item, but you'll see that item after I beat him, so I'll just do a rundown of him. So as you can see, he just kind of cast flies, and then he does that one charge move that you just saw, and that isn't threatening as long as you're smart enough to stay out of the way where he was charging, which I never get to know, so that's not a problem. Now, his head will pop off, I want to say. I think. At least all the other horsemen do that. Yeah, and then he starts shooting out like that. So all you gotta do now is kind of avoid it, which I'm doing a horrible example of right now. And there we go. The Book of Revelations, nice. That every time that I use it gives me another spirit heart so that is also a game changer nice we got a key considering we're going down into the oh wow we have three keys never mind that isn't as nice as I kinda wanted it to be now you saw that piece of meat I got that is more or less a bullet shield for me and all the horsemen of the apocalypse drop it and considering how many pieces of meat I actually have I can actually make super meat boy super meat boy runs around eat stuff and they die. It does just as much damage as the peeper except he stays on them constantly instead of it being in a zigzag form. So it is by far best item. And I got two bombs. I guess that's good, I want to say. Hopefully. You again, watch it. I'm going to need that key one day and it's just... I screwed myself over. Alrighty, this room's fairly simple. Just a couple of spiders. Well, spider egg and spider, but I kind of let the spider egg hatch a spider, so that was more of a screw up on my part. Alright, we got a lot of money. Is that yum heart there? Oh yeah, I don't know if you notice this, but as you can see, if I go in the webs, it actually slows me down, and it also does the same to my shots. As soon as you go into the web, they are slowed and they have lower range. I find that actually kind of neat that they incorporated that in this game. And this room is early, and as I was about to say, easy. I just blew them all up, and I blew up them too. Good job, Rainbow. You are the most intelligent fellow alive. Alrighty, well that was kind of a dead end, and it didn't serve any purpose. So let's just keep on going. 
hopefully the item in here is going to be at least semi-helpful. Even though, like I said, the mutant spider giving me the quad shots is by far the best item ever. Second by the hourglass. Oh god. Oh god, spiders. Spiders, how I hate you in real life and this game. But yeah, as you can see, those little guys that are just kind of wandering around, they don't chase you, they just wander in random directions like a chicken with their head cut off, except it's a clone of Isaac with their head cut off, cut off, which is kind of a disturbing thought. Sorry to put that image in your head, but yeah. Alright, that tarot card gives me an extra heart for a room, but only for that room. So it's not beneficial in any way. If anything, I would rather have like something that gives me a bunch of items as if I got the box. Alright, well, that room was easy. Gave me spirit heart, which is nice, considering I only have a heart and a half. Keep on going. Still haven't seen the item room. Gotta take out that fire. Uh, I probably should have saved that fire and seen if the spiders would have gone in. That would have been actually nice. No, spider. Why do you have to screw me over? But yeah, also, that piece of meat, or the cube of meat, whatever you want to call it, does that. It almost has to kill, so it's also nice. Except it's really, really slow, and I have to get really, really, really close to even do any damage with it, so that's not helpful. Or, well, it's helpful, but not truly practical. Wait a minute. No, that rock isn't tinted. Okay. Go up here. And we have an odd mushroom makes me tiny and it makes it so this way I have faster shots which is nice considering whenever I picked up the quad shots it slowed every shot down. So no, uh, now I'm a rapid fire shotgun. I am the striker from Call of Duty. Oh god, I hate that gun. Alrighty, we're going against the Duke of Flies. This guy is actually very, very, very easy. All he does, spits out flies, bounces around, isn't a threat. And then whenever he dies he burst into more flies, but like I said, not threatening, easy boss, but for some reason the running theme in this show has been, every time I say, oh it's simple, oh it's easy, I always get hurt. So, this is pretty Celestia, I don't get hurt. Alright, looking good, and there we go. Ooh, that's a deal with the devil. I, let's check that. Either get Guppy's head, which gives us nine lives, but lowers us down to one heart. Or we can get Ouija board for a heart, which we just got. Hold on a second. Cheapskate mode activated. Yes. That, and I couldn't cheapskate the game apparently. All right. Well, now I have four shooting spectral tears, which is very, very nice. Except now Isaac looks like a horrible nightmare. And hey, there's a transformation into Maggie. So that's what that meant. Kind of sad that I didn't know that. And I played this game already. Alright, we have these flies. If we could get behind a rock and not get hurt like that, it should be an easy room. Oh, there's a tinted rock in here also. So I'll be using a bomb on that. Hopefully it gives me some more spirit hearts, considering I only have one and I'm down to four hearts. Because I ha just had to make a deal with the devil. It's kind of... kind of there. Maybe I could have made a deal with the devil to turn myself into Ghost Rider. That'd be awesome. Ooh, that actually increases damage. Too bad I didn't come from that rock. But that's rewarded after you break a certain amount of tinted rocks. Alright, we have a champion version of the normal little worms. The little worms don't do anything harmful other than slide around, so he'll just drop something for free. Ooh, we got a pill. Please do something. That is not good. Eh, didn't do much. Justice, what is that? Yes, this is what I was talking about. And then I can't even think. Wait a minute. Ah. Alright, let's hope there's something good in here. Pills. Friends till the end. Nice, we got battle flies. Though pretty much either A, block shots, or B, charge at random shit. Bad gas. Ah. But, yeah, bad gas, I actually figured out what that does. What that pretty much is, is that whenever I go into an enemy, or go right next to it, and I pass gas, I flatulate, it will poison the enemy. Which is actually really nice, and it poisons them for scarily a decent amount of time. 
kind of wish my farts were poisonous. Then again, that'd be kind of dangerous for me. In all, in all terms speaking, blew myself up with that TNT. That's always nice. That TNT was actually kind of helpful until I hurt myself. And I just wasted that heart. God, I am just being retarded in this run. I'm sorry, guys. All right, we got some. All right, these guys are kind of like envy. They just kind of pop. And then they do this asteroid stuff, and they'll turn into little silkworms. Yeah, see? Really simple. Wait a minute. I don't think I've gone against Envy lately. Well, anyways, Envy's pretty much the same idea. Ooh, we get Cupid's Arrows again. That was a game changer in our last run. Hopefully it does the same now. Now we have Spectral Tears and Piercing Shots. Perfect. Alright, you see the guy with the big black dot in the middle of his head? He has heat seeking shots, so that is nice. Thank you, Cuban Me, for saving my life again. And it's the Fallen again. Well, we're running into some bosses that we had last time. Now, as you see, if I would have picked up piercing shots the last time that I played, it would have been fairly helpful against the Fallen. But no, the, being the derp I am, I decided, oh, let's skip it, so. Yeah, that didn't help me there. Alright, well, looks like I'm feeling at least decently with Fallen. Not taking as much damage as I did last time. Now let's just shoot at both of them. Hopefully I can get both of them down at the same time, so this way I can quickly deal with them before they become too much of a hassle. One. That was close. Shit. Okay. That was actually close, because I just bumped into him, so I was invincible for a couple of seconds. One. How I live that, I don't even want to question because, I oh don't know, I'll just get hurt in the end. There we go, we got a half heart, spirit heart, and Lord of the Pit. Wow. Alright, well that's flying. That is really, really nice. What flying does is, you know those holes that I can never get over or fall into? Yeah, I cannot fly over them. I can also fly over rocks and spikes. Alright, this is golden poop. This poop usually has money in it, which is nice. Even though I have 13 and 13 coins and I haven't spent it on it. Oh my god, I am rich. I am the richest kid on the kindergarten playground. Oh yeah. The eternal flies you don't truly have to kill. It's like you don't have to go out of your way to kill them, but I do just in case they ever drop an item, but I'm just since I learned yesterday that I can't make a 30 minute video without having to split it into multiple parts, I'm going to try and quote unquote speedrun this, I guess? Like, not to the point wherever it's disgusting, but to the point where I'm not having to split it into three videos, because I know that's really inconvenient for a lot of people. I know it's inconvenient for me, and it's inconvenient for others, so I won't. I won't do that. Or at least try not to. Alright, these guys are kind of like the laser ones, except they shoot the piranhas out. Piranhas are fairly annoying just because they do a whopping whole heart of damage, which is a lot in my book. And it can hit you as it's going out and as it's coming back. And for some reason, I always have a knack for it hitting me whenever it's coming back. Alright, now as you can see, the wings are coming fairly useful. I'm becoming richer and richer each, each room just because of it. Hopefully, we can find a shop and there will be something good in it, like the notched, the notched pickaxe, so this way I can get free bombs every room. Even though, now that I have wings, there's no true need for bombs, except for blowing up tinted rocks. And the piercing shots prove useful again. Knocking out half of the room in one go. And that cube of meat is actually proving fairly useful as well, because every time the something gets really close to me, I'm just decimating it with the small cube of meat. And there's that cursed...